Hey everybody, it's Keith with Bob CNC. Welcome to Shop Talk. As always, I am here with Robert Wood, our chief designer and my best friend. Wow, I'm here with my best friend Keith. <laughs> Who doesn't do much of anything. He's our factory manager. Yeah. Yeah. He okay. goes around and makes sure that we have parts to sell. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes we have parts to sell. <laughs> Sometimes we do. Yeah. But anyway, the reason we're here today... And he's a little off-centered. I get that in there. You, thank you for doing that, Bob. Uh, we wanted to talk about being off-centered. Yeah, yeah. I guess I'm going to send you off-centered here. Yeah. We're going to talk about eccentric spacers. Yeah, not right? not you being off-centered, but the design being off-centered. Well, you've already made your point. Okay, go ahead. Why do we have them? Well, what do they do? Uh, actually, eccentric spacers uh, on commonly on 3D printers and anything that you need to make an adjustment. It, it basically rotates. Now, Kristen has made up a video just showing you this uh, that she'll uh, cover us up and put it up here sometime. Okay. But uh, but I'll, I'll go ahead and show you on our evolution series. We have uh, four eccentric spacers. Uh, you really only need two on the other axis because on the other axis, all we're doing is we're rotating the bearings into the rails so that it's a snug fit and then we can clamp them down right however there are four on the z drive and the reason we do this is we want to uh to uh, tram uh the spindle which means obviously make it well maybe not obvious but it means make it perpendicular the router bit to the surface right. and i think we did a video on that so if yes, you want to look at uh, tramming you could do that but uh, what uh, i guess we i didn't consider is is if you put this together and it's way out of whack when you first start, the uh, puberty. Yeah, puberty. Yeah. yeah. The uh, a little past maybe. Come know, on. Maybe well, at least you're shaving. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you put the threaded rod in there and it's out of whack, then it won't actually go through the bottom hole. So this thing needs to be adjusted so it's it's most right. mostly straight up and down. Yes. Okay, so so if you're having that problem while you're putting it together, all you got to do is loosen the spacer. Yeah, so there's some. Uh, well, your your was it your brother that called them eyelashes? Yeah. 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 There's some alignment marks yes. on on each of these, and what yes. we want you to do is and find Jeffrey, the, those are alignment marks. alignment marks. Jeffrey, what? come on. Uh, right. Anyway, so we want you to put them to where they're the same, the eccentric spacers. If you notice, it's got a fat part that you see and a skinny part that you don't see right. as you wrap around. And we want you to put those, find the spot that where it's equal on both sides. And when I say equal, I mean outboard equal. So you're going to, as okay, you tighten it up. what does outboard equal it's mean? It's opposite of inboard equal. Oh, thank you. God. <laughs> you know, I'm sure there are people that would like to just come through the camera and go, pow! Yeah, well, you do that enough. So I do do I that enough. I have everybody doing yes. that. Okay, so let me try again. So I want this skinny part of the bearing to be aligned to the outside mark yep. and the skinny part of this eccentric spacer to be outlined to or the alignment mark on the outside of this one because you're holding uh the uh, the spacers away from the rail yeah and then we're going to rotate this one so i think backwards here counter counterclockwise if you're looking at the camera oh that's and true and then this one would be Clockwise stage left. Looking at, yeah, stage right. There bang, you go. Bang. Yeah. yeah. So you're going to rotate those around, and as right. you rotate them around, you're actually going to bring the bearings into the rails. Right. Now, what you don't want to do is rotate this one clockwise and this one clockwise because this one then ends then up high gonna, yeah. and this one ends up low. Correct. So it's very important that uh, you go clockwise here, counterclockwise, uh, clockwise, and counterclockwise on the bottom. And then you'll snug them up. And if, if you end up with three marks, alignment marks over on this one, you want to make sure that your three alignment marks over on this one. Right. Okay, so does that make sense? I guess. I okay. did it on mine, and if I can do it. <laughs> yeah. So, you yeah. know, part of this is, you know, we talk of a, a, a tramming video, but if you're doing that so that you're getting this to line up straight, right? Now, this actually fits into a Y carriage, and I don't have that, but the other part of tramming is to rotate it this way, right? Right. Now, uh, for the most part, I think you're going to find that it's pretty much dead on this way. But we did give you some shim washers, and they don't go on these bearings. They go on the bearings on the Y carriage. And they go just past the bearing uh, washer and in between the hub of the bearing. So what that will, in effect, do, it will move the whole, if you put them on the bottom, it will move the whole uh, router out. And if you put them on the top, it will shift it this way. Right. So really, the whole purpose of tramming, 
uh, is to make sure your bit's perpendicular. Yep. And the eccentric spacer is going to help you get there in, uh, let's see if I turn around, in this direction. We would call that rapid, around the x-axis. Yes. And the y-axis, then you're going to use the washers. I knew that made perfect sense to you. I, it, I can't, yeah, it did. So guys, if you have any questions about eccentricities or anything else. Be it off-centered? They are not off-centered. We're eccentric. We're, I can't, now I can't even remember which word is the word. I'm it, sorry. Yeah. I'll help. You, Bob is off-centered. You're eccentric. Okay. Well, wow. what Kristen that, said. That if you up. got questions, guys, about your routers, if you're having any issues, you got some good news you want to share, get a hold of us at the help desk at bobsinc.com. Till next time, See ya. you guys be good. 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 Great.